Hello everyone. So you're probably familiar with diodes. You've got rectifier diodes. You've got your signal diodes. In this case is a 1N60P shot key. And then you've got these little guys. It's got two diodes inside in some kind of configuration. In this case it's in a series configuration. This is a VAT54S. And today we're going to be working with them. So, the question is now, how do you use them on a breadboard like this, which only accepts through-hole components? Well, you solder leads to them, of course. So this is why it's important to keep your resistor clippings, because they make excellent little breakout leads. Now, you could solder a lead to every one of these little pins like that, but since we're using this specific one as a clipper, and this is a BAT54S, if you take a look at the configuration, if you short these two leads together over here and connect another lead to here, then you've actually got a clipper right there. So, of course, let's uh, dip our leads in some flux. So next, clean your soldering tip off. It's off screen, but I'm just wiping it onto the sponge. So you got a nice, clean soldering iron tip. And in my case, I'm using some 0.8 millimeter 6040 tin lead. And you just want to get a little bit on there. And normally you wouldn't want to ever solder like this. But now you're actually going to want to flip the SOT23 package upside down so you're seeing the underside of it. That way this, the little goal wings can rest right on top of the wire here. I still got a lot of flux laid down here. It's all nice and wet from it. That's good because flux... Okay, flux is not so good when it makes your... Uh, it makes everything stick together. All the seas scrape you off, man. Hey, this is a three-handed operation, so... How am I going to do this? This is embarrassing. There you go, you want to get a good grip. Make sure the other one gets it. Inspect your work. Make sure that it's. I'm bringing it up towards me so I can see if both leads are attached. And yes, they are. Now let's get this uh, other one. To get it. Yes, I did. So now you have a little Bat 54 based clipper. Look at that surface tension just brought it right up to the iron. Of course, nothing is ever perfect. That's a little better. And this one, just want to tack it down. Okay, I don't have enough solder on the iron. Sure gets there long enough. And look, we have it attached there. So yeah, one single and one clipper. 
So you might recognize this little setup. This is my Octafuzz pedals, and right now I have these uh, 1 in 60p shot key diodes. And they're in this sort of, uh, well, they're, these are the soft clippers right here. So we're going to replace it with our BAT54C clipper. Or, sorry, BAT54S clipper. BAT54C, different configuration. Just set it down in there like that. Okay, and here's our single diode. In this case, the, the wide side is the input. And so we've got, okay, the output of this one feeding into the buffer. So, this one's going to be kind of tricky. The head of it is not very, uh, Let's just untangle these resistors, make sure none of them are touching. Let's give it a try on how it sounds. 